Thank you for choosing multiple awnings. Let's see how to install your Europa or Athena awning together. This is how your awning will be packaged when you receive it. Carefully place it on the grass or any appropriate and secure surface. Before starting, we strongly recommend you read page 3 of the installation manual. This section contains important warnings for your own security and the integrity of your awning. The tools needed to install your awning are listed in section 1.1 of the manual. We strongly recommend you be assisted by at least one person, preferably two, for a secure installation. You can also use a hoist to lift the awning. Note that no situation is perfect. Certain installations may require a wooden or metal support beam on the wall in order to solidify and facilitate bracket installation. This may require that you consult with an experienced awning installer. If you're installing on a brick wall, make sure there are at least four rows of bricks above the installation zone. Make sure that the weight of the awning in the tube is oriented towards the ground. Gravity will help here. Unscrew and remove the 12 drywall screws, four at each end of the tube, and four from the accessories section. Keep them to the side. Once the screws are off, Remove the wooden end caps as well as the cover from the accessories section. The box of accessories is at one end of the tube. Next, cut and remove the two green straps. Warning, the straps may be hidden by duct tape and not necessarily visible. Remove the awning from the tube and place it on the lawn or a blanket. Another person will be needed to perform this operation securely. Carefully remove the plastic wrapping by sliding the security knife along the groove at the back of the awning. Do not use an ordinary knife or a retracting knife as this could damage the awning. Leave the protective foam and packaging in place so as to protect the arms and elbows of the awning. Warning, the arms of the Europa or Athena are equipped with powerful springs always wanting to open. They were closed securely at the factory. In case of damage during transport or manipulation of the awning, they can open suddenly while unpacking. We recommend an installation height of 108 inches while respecting a minimum height of 96 inches. You'll also need nine and a half inches of free space above the awning on its entire width. You'll also have to find the studs and joists to install the brackets securely. If your awning is motorized, you'll need to plug it in. The power cable is 15 feet long, or 4.5 meters, and must be plugged into a GFI-type socket. Measure your awning to verify its width. On the wall, indicate its center and its two ends. Then, trace the horizontal limits of the installation area, keeping a space of 9.5 inches between the two lines. You've now defined the installation area of your awning. For buildings that have an internal wooden structure with wood, vinyl, aluminum, or acrylic siding, the lag bolts must be solidly anchored in the structural part of the building. It may be necessary to open the wall to install a beam. To choose the correct position for the awning's brackets, you now have to find where the studs, the beams, or the joists are placed to know where each screw will be anchored. Make sure that each bracket is positioned at the center of the stud or beam or joist of the wall structure. Warning, never install wall brackets opposite the arm supports. They should be installed on either side, favoring the inside of the arm supports. If in doubt, refer to the diagram in your installation manual. Use a 3 16 inch drill bit to drill all the holes throughout the siding, about three inches deep into the stud or joist. This will help to prevent spalling or splitting of the studs when installing the lag bolts. We recommend applying caulking to the holes before installing the screws. Using a 9 16 inch socket, 
Install the brackets using 3 8 inch by 4 inch lag bolts. Use the supplied washer between the screw heads and the brackets. Keep the brackets level while you tighten the lag bolts. Do not over tighten the lag bolts. Apply caulking all around the support to prevent water infiltration. It's possible that the structural element is placed far behind the siding of your house. The use of shims may be necessary. With the help of at least one other person, lift the awning holding the front bar towards you and the roller towards the back. An awning, even a small one, can weigh more than 50 kilos or 110 pounds. We strongly recommend that you rent a manual hoist. Please note that in this video, our professional installers are using a Skylift type electric lift. It's extremely important that your brackets are parallel and level. This is to avoid complications when inserting the bar on the brackets. You may have to apply a bit of pressure to make sure the bar is well inserted. Be particularly careful to tighten the screws on each of the brackets. Make sure to insert the bracket screw from bottom to top. You can now plug the power cord into a GFI type socket. Use your remote control to open the awning completely. Safely finish to unwrap the awning's arms and place the decorative plastic covers. Warning! Do not leave the remote control out in the rain, as this could affect its functioning. We recommend you install the remote control's wall support inside the house. To avoid bodily harm or damages to the awning, carefully read Section 6 of the manual titled Safety and Advice. The installation of your Europa or Athena awning is now successfully completed. For any further information regarding the installation or programming of your awning, please consult your manual or contact our customer service department at the number shown on screen. Multiple Awnings wishes you a wonderful summer!